Hi guys, welcome to another episode of 4K Channel. Today I went to the bank, took out my safety deposit box so I can share with you my most precious banknotes. So without further delay, here we go. So what we have here is a $10 million note, a $50 billion note, and a $10 trillion note from Zimbabwe. All kidding aside guys, first thing I wanna tell you is these are real banknotes. They were printed in 2008 at the height of hyperinflation and they were finally demonetized in 2016. So I want to share with you the story behind Zimbabwe's hyperinflation. Zimbabwe is a uh, country in southern Africa. It was a former British colony by the name of Rhodesia. It uh, gained its independence in 1980. That's when they switched from Rhodesian dollar to Zimbabwe dollar. Uh, during uh, Mugabe's rule, they adopted a lot of poor economic policies, especially in late 1990s. Uh, one of the policies was land reform, where uh, they snatched land from white owners and gave it to local Africans. The only problem was these new uh, African landowners did not have any experience nor any training in farming which quickly led to shortages in harvest, um, shortages in uh, agricultural exports which led to decrease in tax revenue and uh, ultimately decrease in the whole country's GDP. This coupled with a cor uh, corrupt government and excessive government spending um, led to the collapse of the banking sector. Um, the Zimbabwe dollar uh, started to devaluate. Uh, this led to hyperinflation and the response of the government was to print more money, higher denomination. So this is where, you know, from a more normal one dollar and twenty dollar and hundred dollar denomination we went to um, you know million billion and ultimately trillion dollars the reason was the prices were essentially doubling daily so prices of goods would double every day to the point where at its peak in 2009 the hyperinflation um, was 230 million percent. Uh, to give you a perspective, a loaf, a loaf of bread would cost 700 million dollars. Um, and to give you another pers uh, perspective, uh, 35 quadrillion Zimbabwe dollar was equivalent of one US dollars. So, I mean, just wrap your mind around this. Uh, these uh, people in Zimbabwe were carrying in their pockets banknotes with more zeros than I can count. So on a, for a trillion dollars, you have 12 zeros after one. So, um, you know, it's just mind boggling that, uh, you know, you walk into a grocery store carrying you know, $50 billion um, banknote and, you know, you walk out with just a few pieces of groceries. And what do you do when, uh, when you give this money to the cashier? And, uh, you know, uh, do you ask for change back? And uh, if you're the cashier, I mean, I feel bad for you if you have to figure out, you know, someone gave you $50 billion and um, they, they bought something that's worth you know, uh, one million something thousand dollars, um, how do you calculate how much change to give them or do you just say uh, keep the change? Anyways, um, the story goes that this, this, this hyperinflation got so out of hand that eventually the Zimbabwe government had to scratch the local currency. Basically, they got rid of Zimbabwe dollar altogether and it became the world's first and only multi-currency economy where 
they would use anything but Zimbabwe dollar. So basically to, to buy something, you would either use US dollar, Australian dollar, Chinese yuan, um, uh, South African rand, anything but Zimbabwe dollar became the currency. So the foreign currency was how things would be handled. Um, but, uh, you know, initially, you know, using this multi-currency system, it stabilized the prices, but eventually this led to shortages in cash. So, you know, because of the shortages of cash, um, people would use electronic payments or card payments. Um, so local merchants would basically charge you prices based on how you would pay. So if you paid in cash, you would get things cheaper. If you paid using one of these electronic payments, you know, it would cost you more money. Again, this, uh, this, this started affecting the economy and in 2016, the government issued bond notes, Zimbabwe bond notes, which were basically supposed to be equivalent of US dollars. So if you had, uh, you know, a $20 bond note, it was supposed to be equal to 20 US dollars. But in fact, in reality, it was worth much less. So a 20 Zimbabwe bond note didn't really, wasn't really worth 20 US dollars. So again, there was a problem with this system of bond notes. So um, eventually, just recently in June 2019, um, the Zimbabwe, government got rid of the foreign currency so they they went from having Zimbabwe dollar which you know went crazy and they started printing these million billion and trillion dollar notes and then came time when in 2009 they got rid of the Zimbabwe dollar and started the multi-currency and then in 2016 they started printing bond notes and that didn't work out so in just recently in June 2019, they came full circle because they now got rid of the foreign currency and went back to the Zimbabwe dollar or the Z dollar. So it's uh, it remains to be seen how going back to Z dollar, uh, how that's gonna fare out for this country. Uh, I think, you know, Z dollars didn't work out in the past and uh, to, to bring Z dollars back again, I'm not sure that's the answer, but it remains to be seen. Um, let's let's talk about these. Um, let's take a look at these dollar uh, banknotes uh, in more detail. So on the front of the note, on all of these notes, you see the same uh, imagery. Basically, we have uh, three balancing rocks. These are the uh, Chiremba, uh, Chiremba rock formation. Uh, this is uh, in uh, Matopos National Park. Uh, this is right outside the capital city of Herrera. And uh, on the back of these notes, we have uh, some different imagery. I wanna show you that. So let's start with the, the dollar note. We have the, the famous Victoria Falls and a water buffalo on uh, this $10 trillion note, we have the, the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe building and the Great Zimbabwe Ruin with the conical tower. On back of this $50 billion note, we have the basically same imagery but uh, switched around. And this is the $10 million note. We have the Parliament building on the left and then the Zimbabwe, the Great Zimbabwe Ruin. So guys, um, you know, if, if you're a collector, this is a must have. Um, basically, uh, it almost looks like, you know, fake play money, but this is, this is, Part of the real history of Zimbabwe, a uh, very interesting history, 
And there's some other countries who've gone through the same hyperinflation problem. Uh, for example, Germany in 1920s, uh, Yugoslavia in 1993, and Greece and Hungary in 1940s. So uh, what happened to Zimbabwe has happened to other countries, but I think Zimbabwe is one of the more extreme examples. And it continues to struggle with its economy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this video. Please click subscribe. Please leave some comments. And uh, I appreciate you guys uh, checking out these videos. Keep collecting.